I'm Kevin Coleman with the Center Post, and we just went through about an hour long uh, planning and zoning uh, uh, review. So, uh, sort of hard to explain, so I'll let you introduce yourself and explain okay. what this was all about. Okay, hi, uh, my name is Melanie Swisher. I'm the executive director of the Paint Valley Atom Board. And um, we were awarded an ARPA grant through um, the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services to create some new crisis services in our community. Um, we are trying to build a facility on East Main Street, right across from Cooper Glass. And there's gonna be three main programs. One is a 20, 23 hour observation unit, which is um, a unit where law enforcement or EMS can drop somebody off in a behavior health emergency. They'll be met with behavior health staff that can assess them, get them where they need to go. That way um, law enforcement can get back on the road quickly and or they don't have to go to an emergency room. It helps our emergency rooms be open for um, like physical health emergencies. And then the other Okay, why 23 hours? So 23 hour, yeah. So people ask that, why 23 hour and why is it chairs and not beds? So the idea is within 23 hours, the crisis either de-escalates or the person, if they need more intensive treatment, they would then be placed like in an inpatient psychiatric center. Or let's just say maybe they don't need a hospital, but really going home is not a good idea either. They need some more stabilization, some time to go on some medication. The building will also have a crisis stabilization unit, and that will be eight beds. And that's where um, it'll be very structured, very monitored. Um, folks can get on medicine. They can participate in group therapy, individual therapy, and just get a little bit of stabilization before they go home. Okay, um, the, so that's one aspect of it? Yeah, so that would be the second program. You get the 23-hour observation, then you get the crisis stabilization unit. And what size would the facility be? I think we're right now we're looking at around 14,000 square feet. The number of chairs or so beds? So eight chairs and eight beds. Okay. And what other aspects would this facility um, serve? Well, you know, it's also going to be a walk-in. So anybody can just walk in and... Um, I mean, you can kind of think of the walk-in aspect like a behavioral health urgent care. You know, you can walk in, see somebody, be assessed, and get some help started right away. The other thing is we're going to house our mobile crisis teams there. So we are hoping, and when I say we, we're the Adam board, but we are going to contract with an agency called Coleman Health Services that is really familiar with doing these crisis services. Uh, but the mobile teams can go to homes, they can go to work, they can go to schools. And the thought about that is meeting people where they're at. Um, and lots of times you have more favorable results if you're able to intervene quickly and help people where they're at. And so how is this mobile? Is it a, a van or a EMS? Or? Um, it's not an EMS, so they would probably go out in groups of twos. Um, again, the agency will be providing the work and they're more familiar with that, but um, they would receive a phone call and then they would meet the person where they're at. And this would not transport someone to the facility, but take personnel out to the people. Yes, but um, Coleman Services will also have staff that if there's a transportation issue and they need to come to the facility, they can help them get there. And when the people are done with services, they can help them get back home. All right, and uh, Coleman Services, no relation to me, where <laughs> yeah. are they based? So they, oh boy, they're throughout Ohio. I believe they started in Kent, Ohio, um, but they're really in several locations now throughout Ohio. Okay, so the reason why you had to go to planning and zoning is because you're looking at the site inside yes. the city limits. Why there? So the reason that we went to planning and zoning is because the portion of the program that is the CSU unit requires a conditional use, and that's why we had to go to planning and zoning. And the why we chose this location, we're trying to find a location that is centrally located. We serve five counties. Um, and also this specific location is close to 35, close to 23, right off of 50 there's enough room for law enforcement to be able to drive in drop off and then you know leave the we looked at several facilities and we did some site feasibility but we really i mean when i look at this so this place that we're looking at has been vacant for decades um and when i drive by there in the morning i just think oh my gosh we could bring something that instills hope to this community and that's that's what we're trying to do is just bring some hope some of the criticism of the site is that it would be better, this facility would be better up at the hospital campus uh -huh. among similar services. Yeah, and you know, um, we had somebody speak today who was a social worker and she worked in these types of facilities and she explained that people are less likely to seek help um, 
when they're close sometimes to a medical facility because there's some stigma that they've already encountered. And plus, a lot of um, people don't always have the transportation. So the people, um, there's a lot of people, if we have it here on East Main Street, that they can literally just walk to the facility when they need help. So the Planning and Zoning Commission, it sounds like they are not, they did not make a decision. No. They'll look at it again in 30 days. Yeah, it sounds or, like they have 30 days to make a decision. So uh, you'll be here before the board again in, in a month. That's what it sounds like, yes. All right. Um, how can people learn more about what you do, what you oh, offer? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would love to be able to um, talk more about what we do and everything that we offer. We, you know, Adam Boards provide no direct service. We contract with providers to do that. We serve five counties, Pike, Pickway, Fayette, Highland, and Ross. And um, if you want more information, you can email contact us at pvadamh.org. And if you're trying to seek behavioral health crisis services and you're having a hard time, please, please call us. Um, I want to try to connect you. You know, we can't sit and wait for this to be built. We People need services and they need it now. So please call me, 740-773-2283. And my extension is 105 or just dial zero. They will find me and we will help you get the services that you need. And do you have a website, Facebook page, Instagram? Oh, we do now. We have a website, and I don't think I have that memorized, but I'm pretty sure it's www.pvnmh.org. I'm um, sure you can Google that. And then we do have a Facebook page. Uh, hi. hi. All right. Okay. And what was your name again? Melanie Swisher. And your position? I'm the executive director. Of the... Paint Valley Adam Board. All right. Okay. Sorry, a lot of thoughts going through my head. I can't always <laughs> remember who I'm, who I'm talking to. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.